welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl marie and if you're new here karibu sana thank you thank you so much for stopping by i love to have you here and i can't emphasize that enough i love to have you here so if you like what we do here please don't forget to subscribe to join the family now guys how it's that time again so the OGs know that around this time I do this kind of video and I've done that a couple of times on the channel and if you're new here again let me elaborate a little bit so like I said my name is Marie um, I am in a long distance relationship with an Irish man who lives in Australia we are currently waiting for our spouse visa to be you know to go through and in that meantime in that time in this period we have tried to get a visiting visa for me so I can go visit him but it's been impossible so the only way for us to you know connect physically and be together physically is for him to come visiting as frequent as possible hey guys <laughs> so it's Friday and I think I caught up with you guys on Wednesday Tuesday Sunday last week I don't know but it's Friday Ben's landing tomorrow Saturday I'll tell you guys what the only reason I haven't been able to film throughout the, the day is because one I didn't want the video to be too long and not to the point and also two Guys, I've been so restless the entire week. I didn't know what to do with myself. I'm so restless to a point that like I I can't I can't focus on one thing for a minute. Like I keep zoning in and out of everything. It's so I don't know. <laughs> but it's it's so difficult to like focus on anything. That's because I'm so excited. I've been waiting for nine months. To see this man and finally it's the countdown hours to I'm counting hours to I'm so excited it's noon Friday it's about noon on Friday the first of March and he's gonna land tomorrow at 7 35 p.m. my time okay he's already left um, he already left Adelaide he went he's going through Melbourne to Dubai and then to Kenya so he's in Melbourne right now he's, he's boarding in an hour's time to Dubai and then he'll have a layover time for I think five hours in Dubai and then you know come to Kenya I am so excited guys I, I oh my god I am all over the place anyway I told you guys I think the last time I was talking to you guys I told you I was gonna get my hair done and I did as you guys can see I've given it time to heal like you guys I have such a sensitive scalp that to a point that every time I have my hair done no matter how gentle the my loctician is I always just get pains 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 so, anyway so this is what my hair looks like and if I'm telling you guys that this was literally the best decision I made regards to my locks I'm not even kidding I don't know if you guys can see me because I don't have a mirror to look at myself through but I hope it's like I hope you guys get the vibe it's been a minute since I had hair that lands on my shoulder like that and also like there's so much I can do with this hair but I just love the fact that I can pull my hair up in a bun 
kind of a messy bun and let it stay there without having to spray water on my head every day so that it can like be manageable because all my sister locks girls out there know that water is your savior your hair wakes up defying gravity every single day it's all over the place but then water makes it go oof <laughs> water kind of makes it tame and I, I as much as i loved that i just love the fact that i can wake up any day today and decide mm, i'm just gonna do this and then out the door and it still locks because like yeah it's amazing it's amazing guys they they used a semi-human hair so it's not fully human and that makes it um, a bit cheaper i'm not i'm not planning to have this forever guys i'm gonna take this out maybe in a year's time you know so that's what my hair looks like i did my nails as well you guys um i don't know if it's adulting or growing up but for some reason i don't do like shouting colors anymore not not anywhere apart from my clothes of course because guys orange and yellow and burgundy and what's the other shade of yellow that i like mustard they just bounce nicely off my skin but other than my clothes i just don't like anything shouty and i think this is just a face don't come for me i loved them before i just don't like them now i just don't like them now i just feel like right now i am all for nudes and that's what i went with with like french tips i love this i love it love it so today uh today i want to go to china square to get a few items now guys i was thinking of going with decor so like if you watched my other video my last video of welcoming bay home in kenya about some months ago i don't know um i did do some decor and it was quite simple but it was with balloons and let me tell you guys taking off those balloons from the walls because i used this a double-sided tape to, to stick them to the roof to the ceiling uh that was so difficult i peeled the paint off my ceiling and it's right above my bed like i can see it every morning when i wake up it was so ugly and i couldn't like do any fillers or any like i couldn't fix it before i move out of that place if you know what i mean so like the entire time i was there after bay left i had to look at that ugly patch of you know rough paint kind of for that period i did not like it so i don't think this time around i'm going to do ceiling uh balloons at all if there's an alternative i'll do that but if not i'm not gonna go with any balloons at all i'm just gonna keep it simple 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 uh he loved it but i know babe will love anything <laughs> you know as long as it's coming from me he's gonna love it anyway i don't think i'm gonna do much in terms of decor if i can't do with the balloons but it's okay it's okay as long as he's home that's all that matters and as long as i'm home when he comes home He's gonna love it. So, I am meeting my bestie, Liz. As you guys have known, she's always there for me for these things and I love that girl to death. She's always like, she's the one person I know I can count on to show up when I need her to show up and I do the same for her. And yeah, she's gonna come today to basically calm me down because <laughs> i've told you guys i am so restless i think you guys can tell from this video how much i am all over the place with my thoughts but like yeah she's gonna come and help me calm me down or like well basically help me go through my night okay and and then tomorrow she'll go help me at the airport to film for you guys even though it will be at night and the video quality won't be great but i still want to do it and i'm not just doing it for you guys i'm doing it for our journey so that one day one time when we get there and you know we are settled like completely within the same house i can't wait for that day but like when we are like all settled we can look back on our journey and say we really really did make it like this this whole videographing video logging our journey is not just for you guys on youtube it's also for us and i love every part of it even when i'm all over the places i am right now that being said uh i'm gonna finish getting ready put my hair up pack on more sunscreen head over to china square and I'll, when i come back guys i'm gonna show you what i got 
uh from china square and if you're going to do any decor at all i'm also gonna buy some kuku kienyeji kuku kienyeji is just free range chicken Eamon loves kenyan free range chicken free range chicken he like loves loves apart from nyamachoma which i feel like every basically tourist loves in kenya he loves the free range chicken and i cannot do nyamachoma guys i don't have a grill so i'm gonna buy Fried and chicken. He'll be home in time for dinner, so I'm gonna buy fried and chicken and and like marinate that overnight and then cook it tomorrow for him, and uh, so we can have dinner when he gets home. At home, we can have like a home cooked meal, and then also what else? Oh yeah, guys, I'm so excited! Like, let me tell you guys, everyone is like heavy on gifting. We both are. I love receiving the gifts, and he loves giving them. <laughs> I also love giving him gifts. But I always like find find it such a hard task to gift this man, cause like he's a man. Gifting ma men, mans, gifting men is such a hard task, guys. I don't know what he would like. Like I I, I spent a whole month thinking about what I'm gonna get him, when I know that he has a whole suitcase full of my gifts and Luna's and also my sister's. And he's not even ha having a hard time like buying me gifts, but I have such a hard time buying him gifts because I don't know what he likes. And when I try to like gauge his mind and say, "Do you like this? Do you like this?" He's like, "Don't get me anything." He keeps telling me to not get him anything. Like, how can I not get him anything when he's bringing me a whole suitcase full of gifts? It's it's insane. It's absurd. But so I decided. I thought really really hard, and I got this excellent idea to get him a massage gun now the the story behind me getting him that gift is that uh my man just started like working out he started he has he has not started he has restarted for i don't know what time but he has restarted his fitness journey again at this time around he's been serious about it he's been going on for a couple of months now and the one thing he keeps co constantly complaining about is muscle pain of course everybody who goes to the gym especially for the first timers or like people who are restarting again know that muscle pain is normal but it's also very uncomfortable so he's been having issues with his back especially because also his job involves a lot of sitting around and driving around and like it's taking a toll on his back and then when he goes to the gym all that working out and his personal trainer is very ruthless when it comes to these things so every night when i talk to bear he's always crying about all my arm strings all my legs all this muscle all this so i decided you know what while he's here we're gonna work out as well and then when he's here i can massage him that's not no problem but when he goes back home he lives alone there's no one to massage him and if he has to pay for a massage it's not cheap so i decided to buy him a massage gun and i really really think that this is the one gift he's gonna enjoy of all the gifts i've ever given him and i'm so excited guys i am he doesn't know yet but i am so excited guys like i know this one he's gonna love so i got him a massage gun uh should i show you guys actually i'm gonna show you guys so guys i got him this massage gun and it's open because i opened it and let me tell you guys i tried this on me it's amazing it's so nice it feels so good it feels so i think i'm gonna get myself one yeah i really think i'm gonna get myself one it's so it feels so good because it works with vibrations and and like this is what it looks like so guys um this is the massage gun this is the gun itself and it has like uh, it has five levels if you guys can see so it, for every level you see the lights go up so those are those are the all all the five levels is it five or six six it has six levels so those are all the six levels and you can reduce the intensity so each level goes up with the intensity and then this is the attachment so it has five attachments five well nozzle i don't know attachments and it goes there like that 
it's so simple guys it's so really simple and then you just turn it on or you long press and turn it on and then it starts like doing this kind of looks like a vibrator <laughs> so like with every level it intensifies that's level two three four five six i'm telling you guys this feels so good and what's more is that it has four more uh, attachments like these so that you can target muscle groups this is not an advert you guys this is not an adver advert this is just uh, me showing off my genius idea of gifting my man so it has these uh these more three more yeah three sorry so it has these one two three attachments and each attachment is perfect for targeting a muscle group so that you're, you're getting the maximum uh, maximum benefit out of it. So it has this attachment, this attachment, and this uh, flat head attachment as well. I am telling you guys, this is the real deal, yeah? Next time you want to gift your man, this would be nice, even if they're not working out, guys. Even if they're not working out, everybody has like tired muscles. I, I know I do all the time. So, ah! so like I told you guys, he was complaining about like painful back. So the second gift was this one. Yeah, and this is like a back, um, a back support, back massage kind of thing. What is it called? It's called a magnetic therapy back massager stretcher tool. Anyway, I bought it. I feel like I, I tried this as well and I, I liked it uh, because it's really good for your back and your spine. It kind of straighten it, straightens it up. And I, I don't want to assemble this. It's not easy to assemble, unfortunately. But it's good once assembled, so I assembled it, then then the assembled it, so I can put it back. So I'm gonna get like gift wrap wrappers and wrap these up for him. I think this time around I nailed it. So guys, let me head over to China Square and I'll catch up with you guys later on. So we are back home, and I have everything I bought in front of me. I don't know if I'm too far from the camera, but hopefully I'm not. I'll uh, just move this way. Good. So I have everything I got uh, here. So this did not come with a box. This is the back thingy that I was telling you guys. Back massage thing that I was telling you guys. Is this supposed to be a back massage thing? Back physiotherapy tool. That's what it's called. And it did come with a box. Or maybe it did and it got unpacked because I, I ordered everything on Jumia so sometimes they repack packages so that it's easier to transport because I got the both of them together but because of that I don't have a box for it so I decided to buy this box so it can fit and hopefully it will fit guys I don't know I don't think it will but we'll try and yeah, apart from that, I'll just do that later. Apart from that, guys, China Square has like really nice, pretty things, little pretty things that you don't expect to find there. They're always there. I'm so happy I went, I went there and I'm so happy I came with my bestie because we were able to make uh, good choices. Anyway, so we got these balloons and for this pack, pack of seven, I think. So for a pack of seven, we got uh, this at one twenty-five shillings, and we got we got each of these foil balloons, foil letter balloons at ninety shillings each, which I think was quite affordable if you asked me. And then I think like the prettiest thing I got today, guys, was this gift bag. It's transparent. It's so durable, it's so nice. Like, honestly, I'm gonna gift him in these gift bags and I'm gonna take them back and fold them and keep them for future use. <laughs> they're so pretty and nice and they're like clear. I, I don't know if you guys can see, 
but like they're so nice guys they're so nice and for these i got each at 130 shillings i got so these ones are like cream rimmed and these ones are white rimmed and i got each at 130 shillings and even like the handle is so durable they're nice guys long story short they're nice i think this was, this was my best buy today i think so
Hey guys, so it's 5.30 p.m. Um, Nairobi time, Nairobian time. And Bay is learning at 7.35 p.m. I am so excited, guys. I'm so, so, so excited. Um, his flight already left Dubai a couple of hours ago. So he has probably three hours to get to Nairobi. And uh, like I told you guys, my bestie is taking me to the airport. I'm also going with my sister. Luna's gonna wait back here at home for us. Uh, but everyone else in the house is going, which is just basically me, uh, my best friend, and my best friend, my best friend Liz, and my sister Noel. We're heading to the airport, and this time around, we decided to take the bus, take the scenic route, which usually is taken by the bus. If you take an Uber, it goes straight to the drop-off point, right? But if you take a bus, it goes through the different spots or like drop-off, drop-off or shuttle points, bus stops, points. Ah, guys, guys. The point is, if you take a bus, it takes you around the airport, and then I can get to show my sister um, the airport, the different areas of the airport. I once worked there, and I used to take the bus to work every day. It was lovely, and I wanted to experience that. Plus, I want us to go early enough so that we can catch the sunset because it's an amazing view from. Uh, it's an amazing view of JKIA, of the sunset from JKIA, so I want to make sure that we catch that. Anyway, uh, right now, I think what I'm going to do, my sister and Liz are in the other room doing her hair, pulling her hair up, so, <laughs> tidying up tidying up her hair. Oh my god, I'm too excited, I can't even have a grasp on my words. I want to go set up that dining table because Bear will be home in time for supper and I told you guys that I was going to prepare his favorite meal which I've already done so the chicken stew is ready I'll just come back home and cook some rice and you know serve the dinner but I want to set that table so that when I come back home it's just and we can get to bed because it will be quite late and I know he'll be exhausted. So I'm going to set you guys up so we can set the table and then we can leave for the airport and hopefully I can film for you guys. But if not, I'll see you guys at the airport. Oh yeah, guys. And also I'm going to show you guys my outfit. I look so cute. I'm so happy. Like, uh, yeah, I love my outfit today. I feel so amazing. Amazing, amazing. I'm not doing uh, much more than this for my face. Like, I just love my face a bit natural looking uh, yeah and it's less work when i get back home i don't have to take off the makeup and all that all that that comes with it so i'm just gonna go like this but i want to show you my very cute outfit as well nice fitting jeans and this like really pretty floral top i love this i love this outfit so much let me move back so you guys can see the jeans i don't know if you guys can see properly but yes this is what I look like and I'm gonna pair this up with a jacket those of you who have been to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Nairobi you know that that place is freaking cold like it could be super hot in Nairobi and that place would be freezing <laughs> so I'm gonna pair that with the jacket my Chanel bag <laughs> and oh there you go and these kicks i love them so much i already wore them earlier on so that's why they look a bit dirty i'm not gonna wear them in the house and that's basically it guys that's what i look like traffic towards town I really hope you're going to make it in time because now it's 7 um, it's almost 7.35 it's almost past 7.35 our Uber is estimated to drop us at 7.46 and of course yeah we could not use the Uber because uh, we're late 
so uh, hopefully we get there in time uh, definitely I mean by the time we get through customs and out there'll be a bit of time yeah but let's see what happens
Oh my god, oh my, she's still weeing. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> hey baby girl. Who's this? Who's everyone? She's overjoyed. <laughs> okay, baby girl. Who's this? P. There's a P there. Hey, hey, come on. Uh oh, uh, uh oh, more pee. More, I told you. <laughs> She's so happy to see you. <laughs> Look at the frantic tail wag. <laughs> Louis. Oh. Hey princess, princess, come on, come on, come on, come on in. Hey Louis, oh she's gonna be weeing all over the house, saying hi to you. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She did look up to me. That's my feet. That's my feet. my feet. Wish her her claws are like really sharp. <laughs> Luna, who's that? <laughs> Babe. She's gonna get her zoomies in a minute. <laughs>